you're on to Zia Vlog, I want to welcome all my subscribers, both the old and new subscribers. Then if you're seeing this face for the first time, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, let's learn and have fun together. On today's episode, we have our usual special guest in the house, Nurse Kilechi. She is here to tell us all we need to know about family planning. Interesting. Nurse Kilechi, please say something to our viewers. Hello, viewers. Hold on and listen to what we have to give you this afternoon. Okay, let's dive straight into it. Family planning. In a layman's understanding, in a layman's language, what can you tell us to be family planning? Okay, family planning is the planning on how many children you want to give birth. Simple, a layman's understanding. You plan on how many children you want to give birth. Okay, so how do you go about the family planning? When you and your husband must have planned, okay, we are going to have two, three, two or three children. After that, are we going to space? You talk about the spacing. Is it every one, one year? Is it every year and six months? Is it every two, two years? After this, having that conversation, then you proceed to start having children. You have, when, depending on what you people discuss, if it is after one, one year, then when you give birth, after a year, you have to plan on the type of, there are so many types of family planning, there are injectables. Okay, let me cut it short here. There is this belief that it is the duty of the woman to take care of that family planning angle in terms of uh, the methods to use or even everything concerning about Concerning family planning, I must say, whose duty is it to plan the family? Is it the woman's duty? It or is both? The, okay, it is both because we need the cooperation of the husband. The okay. husband has to cooperate for the family planning to work out. Okay. And it's also boils down on the woman, your choice, the type of family planning you want to have. If you want to use the Billings Foundation method, like you don't want to put anything, you want to do, I am safe, I'm not safe. Okay. Then the husband has to be in full control. Okay. He has to be in charge because they tend not to believe when you said I don't want and he wants. Okay. So, he, he so, problem, yeah. so that's why it is both. Both parties have to give consent and have that type of family planning they choose to have. If it's the natural way going to the hospital to do the other way around like having an injection or using a contraceptive is also both okay okay so you've heard it today is not left for the woman you know some men will just be like ah it's your duty oh. just take just care. Don't, take care of yourself oh. no so you can, you've heard it from Noskelechi today is for the man and the woman to sit down and plan the family together and go about it together so now there have been a lot of myths i don't know if i will even call it myths i'm here to confirm from you myths or facts surrounding this family plan let me ask you the number one <laughs> myth i know my viewers will be itching to know about is it true that when you begin to you know practice most of this um, in the family planning, the injectable ones you said, is it true that the person may never, ever, ever have children again? No, it's not a fact. Okay. Because before you even choose any pattern, you really have to con con consult your doctor. Okay. So that they know the type that your body can tolerate. Okay. Yeah. It's not a permanent, unless you, 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 you did a permanent family planning like when your tubes are tied that's the okay. one that will make you not to have children again but if it is injectables 
whenever you want to start having children, all you need to do is to stop. Okay, when you stop having in injections, you give yourself time like one or two months, your cycle returns to normal. Okay, if you've not entered menopause, you okay. can still have children. Okay, okay. Now, we, I, I, I believe we are understanding now, so it's optional. You have the permanent and the temporal method of controlling or yeah, family planning. Okay, now another myth is that family planning makes you fat, makes the woman fat. Is that true? It's one of the disadvantages. Okay. It, it, it makes some people fat. So that's a fact. That's what is a fact. Okay. It can make you to put on weight because so your hormones are being altered. Okay. When you when you are on family planning, your hormones are altered. Okay. So that they will they will now be secretion of egg or maybe they will be secretion of egg or maybe the eggs will be drying up or stuff. Once the hormones is being altered, the side effect is that you start to gain weight. Okay. There's another myth. I don't know if it's a myth. I'm here to confirm from you. There's this belief that if you're on family planning, that there's this some kind of family family planning that will make you you know, irritated or irritable, you sometimes fall sick, and you are not so, most times in the mood to do the, you know, the stuff. Yes, it's one of the disadvantages. You have like eight of them. Okay. The without mood swing. Okay. Your libido tends to go down. down. Okay. The cause of that alteration is hormones. Okay. Your hormones is no longer floating well. It's being altered so that you don't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So these are the disadvantages. You will start having the disadvantages of the marriage. You will have weight gain. Mm -hmm. Some people will have loss of sleep or insomnia. Some people will have that mood swing. Some people will have that uh, what other one we talk about. You get fat, you fat, you get irritated, you get that mood swing. You you have uh, fall sick, you fall sick, you'll be feeling sick, your libido tends to go down. Okay. You won't Fat, whatever you want to do, okay. as regards to having intimacy with your partner. How do you think they can manage such thing? Because don't you think it's going to affect the couple's uh, relationship, that kind of relationship, with all these side effects? How do you think they can manage it? Or is there any way they can manage it and still enjoy, enjoy the relationship? Yeah. yeah, it can be managed. That's why you need to choose what works for you in your body, okay? You have to, there are so many family planning, so you choose what works for you, and I believe it's, it's not all of them that give all the side effects. Side effects, okay. If you can do one, you have two out of all these things I listed, mm. or you can choose to give the other one, you have maybe you have three mm. out of this one, so you could be able to manage, manage your life, so what, depending on the one you want to use, and you choose what works for you. There's also this uh, uh, um, cultural belief about family planning that it is not, um, it's not even only cultural. There's some religious belief about family planning. What advice do you have for people who feel family planning is not a way to go at all? What I can say is that you don't have to bring the children you would be able to take care of in this work by saying oh giving them is in god's hand you know, it's god that trains children you know, and then you go about having babies making babies and then increase <coughs> and multiply fill the face of the earth and then you bring most of the children that you can't be able to take care of yeah. so that is why there is need to plan you have to plan choose what works for you so that you can be able to give birth to the number of children you will be able to take care of you do, so that you don't at the end bring nuisance or problems to problems society. in society and because yourself and yourself okay. too so you really have to plan it give birth to the number of children you will be able to take care of okay thank you very much noskeleji anytime we call you i am so sure we are going to learn a lot of things and we have grabbed a lot today i want to thank you once more for gracing our show thank you very much that is the much we can take 
on today's episode. Keep it a date next time. Remember, if you love your, if you love our videos, please remember to always share and give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye. Bye.